what our life would be like if we could access, let's say, 20% of our brain's capacity. This first stage will give us access to and control of our own body. There are more connections in the human body than there are stars in the galaxy. After control of ourselves and others, come control of matter. What would happen if somebody unlocked 100% of the cerebral capacity? 100%?
you could miss.
MDMA utilizes serotonin. Opiates like heroin utilize dopamine. Sort of like the same sensation you get after sex. Amphetamines increase adrenaline. And cocaine gets those synapses in the brain firing really fast. My product is 51 times stronger than cocaine. 51 times more hallucinogenic than acid. And 51 times more explosive than ecstasy. It's like getting a personal visit from God. It's like getting a personal visit from God.
you think God belongs only to you? He doesn't. God's an immortal spirit who belongs to everybody, to the whole world. You think you're special? God is not an Israelite.
is actually evidence of a parallel universe. Wait, what? So maybe the, these differences in collective memories are actually evidence of our universe somehow becoming intertwined with another, if not identical, and very similar universe. So people's memories are correct, they're just remembering something that happened in another dimension. Dimension. I'm dimension, sorry, dimension, but this is dimension. ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you.